Amerika Ferreira is making her feature film directorial debut with I Am Not Your Perfect Mexican Daughter on Netflix. Yes, she has directed in the past. I've talked about her directing um, Hintified on Netflix before, and now she's going to be doing a whole film. Um, it's based off of a book, which I'll tell you a little bit about later, but they've recently announced that they started casting for Julia, which is the main character. She's a teenager in the book. I'm going to give you some tips if you've never acted before and you're like, hmm, maybe this is a place to start if you're perfect for the role or uh, if you have already been acting, I'm gonna tell you what I've been doing because I would love to audition for this film. First is that you should go and follow America Ferreira on Instagram and Atomic Honey Casting. That's where I heard the information first. So America Ferreira did a little video. She was super excited about announcing that they're starting to look for Julia. For the Netflix feature film based on the New York Times bestselling novel, we're looking for you, Julia. Swipe to see details if you have an imdb pro account you can follow films um, because now there is an imdb page for this film and you can look at the filmmakers the cast the crew so you can see oh they already cast for julia so you want to follow them on imdb pro so you can get updates on what's going on with the film and where they're at third is that you should read the book anybody can enjoy this book but if you are a first generation Mexican American female chef's kiss. It is so good. It made me miss my culture. It made me appreciate my culture. It made me want to go and make tortillas from scratch and just talk to my family and connect more. It just made me feel really nostalgic and sad that I don't have those things in my life today. I don't want to get emotional. Just because we grow up and we move out and we don't have like that culture immediately available every single day. Like it's my job now to hold on to that culture because I just, I'm not around it every day. But why am I already going to start crying? Get yourself familiar with the characters. See who you could realistically portray or who you would like to portray and just take notes. So when the casting comes out, you're like, oh yes, I already have this vision for this person. So let me audition for them. And you're going to be such a better actor because of it because you're going to know what's going on in the story so your audition is going to have you know more life in it because you know more about it so this book is i am not your perfect mexican daughter by erica l sanchez you can get this book at bookstores duh today or you can order it on amazon get it this weekend or if you want to save some money you can go to your library because they very likely have it at your library but i definitely recommend you reading this right now they are casting for julia but be prepared for other roles just in case you don't audition for Julia. Based off of the comments that I saw on Instagram on Atomic Honey's page, they are still accepting submissions for Julia. So you just email them and they'll email you back the instructions to do a self-tape. Figure out your self-tape audition setup. You don't need all of these papers and lights and stuff. I just like it. I do YouTube videos and I do a bunch of self-tape, so I just like to do it. But at the very least, please get yourself a tripod because that's going to make your life so much easier so that you can film your auditions. But I also have a bunch of videos on self-tape auditions because my channel is all about about acting. I'll leave some of the links in the description. If you guys have any other questions, let me know and I'll I'll comment the, the video that I think is right for you, depending on your questions. But if you've never done a self-tape audition before, at least get a tripod and figure out where in your home you can film the self-tape audition that you will have good natural lighting and it'll be quiet, not too echoey. You should already know if you're an actor, but if you're not incredibly good at memorizing, you should get good at memorizing. So once the time comes where they do open castings for whatever character you're interested in, you can focus on acting and having fun and filming that self-tape audition versus being like, oh my God, I'm so stressed out. I really wanna be off book so I can look professional and amazing and act my best in this um yeah you can just focus on oh i gotta memorize these three pages no problem because i've been practicing and now i can just send in a great audition you really don't have to do this but i think it's fun and i have done this in the past for other characters and maybe maybe do it for this maybe i'll do it for this one after you read the book choose a scene or a monologue or something and then perform it and post it online and tag america ferrera tag erica L. sanchez just tag the people that are involved and see what happens also just to practice and share it doesn't hurt you know if you're posting it on social media 
do it. Well, doesn't that sound like fun? I did one for um, my dream role is Kelly Kapoor from The Office, but um, what did I name her? Kimberly Camacho. Uh, I did like a version of some of the scenes, so that was really fun. And why not? Put yourself out there, practice. It's basically a self tape audition. Lastly, I think you should get familiar with America Ferreira's work. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, she has directed, but get familiar with the things that she has directed, the projects that she has been executive producer for, and again with the IMDb Pro where they list all of the filmmakers, get familiar with those filmmakers too, casting everybody in the world that is going to be, that is I Am Not Your Perfect American your perfect Mexican daughter get familiar with those filmmakers and see what they're like see what kind of work they do because that will also give you information when you send in that audition you'll see you know what flavor what what they're going for within that story if it's more realistic if it's more um surreal and also if you ever do have the opportunity to do like a zoom audition or an in-person audition so you want to be able to hold a conversation and I think it's really important to have some knowledge about the other things in the acting industry versus just knowing about acting. Don't submit multiple times. Once you submit, please submit it and forget it. If you're submitting for one role, submit it and then they will contact you if they want to work with you. If you don't hear back from them, it means they didn't find what they needed in you for that role and they're moving on. They're watching more auditions. You could audition for something else if something else does pop up, another character, but you, you should not double submit for these auditions or really for anything because you want to make their job easier you want to be professional and kind and they are watching so many auditions i'm sure that you just need to submit it and forget it wait for the next one obviously this video is not sponsored uh but i do love this book so much that i wanted to give away a few books so i'm going to be giving away five paperback books of i am not your perfect mexican daughter by erica L. sanchez and because i am paying for this on my own and you know, I don't make that much money off of YouTube and, and acting, you know, acting is like one day you make $5,000 and then you don't make any money for a few months. Anyway, that's a long way to say, unfortunately, you do have to be in the US for this giveaway. I'm going to be giving away five. All you have to do is like this video, subscribe to my channel and leave me a comment about your favorite childhood memory because this book brought up so many childhood memories. Um, of mine and it was beautiful so I hope you guys enjoy this book I hope you get to read this book like I said even if you don't have the means to purchase it I really recommend you going to your library and renting it out I would love to be a part of this film in any capacity and if that means that I helped you hear about it and then you get cast I would literally cry but also I cry over a lot of things because I have a lot of feelings at the end of every video I feature another channel and today I wanted to feature a fellow filmmaker uh, my friend Javi he is also a Mexican-American person so you can go check out Bless Dress we have made some films together in the past one of them is posted there and we have lots more coming so thank you so much have a good night or morning or whatever why are the end of the video so awkward um Anyway, here's a helpful video on self-tape auditions and lighting and what I use.